What is up guys? I hope you all are doing amazing today and today we're going to be talking about intrusive thoughts, where they come from and how to deal with them. This is something that I'm very passionate about because I used to struggle with these for a long time. Today I'm going to share with you some things to really help you get through this. Thank you guys for tuning in and as always it is a wonderful one. It's a beautiful morning. Let's get started. So what are intrusive thoughts? Well, we can describe them as thoughts that may become up at times when we're not expecting them. And they can be things like questioning our own sexuality to like whether we would do an act of violence against someone else. And the thing with intrusive thoughts is why they're actually so dangerous to our mental health is because we get attached to these thoughts. And we get attached through fear. When most people hear attachment, they think about romantic attachment. Ooh, I love this person so much or desire. That's not really what it is. It's that fear cycle. Okay, you have the thought, you push it away because you're afraid, and the fear grows stronger. It gets bigger. And then what happens? The next time the thought comes, you resist it again, and the fear gets stronger. And eventually, you spend all your free time just thinking about this one thing that's stressing you out. This is where we get into the difference between someone who shrugs off the intrusive thought and someone who kind of clings on to it. A lot of people with anxiety, and I'm not saying that you have to have a disorder to panic over an intrusive thought, but a lot of people with anxiety tend to cling on to these thoughts because they think that if they fight the thought, then it's eventually gonna go away. But that's actually not the case. And I used to struggle with this a lot. I was having thoughts, questioning my own sexuality. What I used to do was try to rationalize and put some meaning on these thoughts. When really guys, these intrusive thoughts do not mean anything. I'm telling you that right now. Whether it's violence, sexuality, something else, OCD, it literally means nothing. As humans, we have the ability to put meaning onto something, to say, this is bad and this is good. And because we label it like that, what happens is the thought comes back to bite us. But that's really a problem that's self-created. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take that self-created problem and dissolve it. First of all, embrace that uncomfortable feeling. When you have this thought, you're gonna feel uncomfortable. What I want you to do is actually really simple. And a lot of people who have struggled with OCD or intrusive thoughts for many years think that it's a very complicated process. They think, you know, the magnitude of the emotional reaction must be equal to the solution. That's really not it. It's pull, don't push. I'm sure you guys have opened a pull door. That is what we are going to do with these thoughts. So when you have this thought, it can be, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna jump off a bridge, or I'm gonna get stabbed. Simply observe it. And what I mean by that is keep it in your field of vision. And when I say field of vision, I'm talking about awareness. When you have that thought questioning yourself, your actions, your beliefs, keep it in your field of vision. And it's definitely gonna feel uncomfortable, but as you keep paying attention to that thought, eventually this emotional discomfort is gonna dissipate. What we've been doing up until now is coming in with the attitude of, this thought should not be here, I don't want this thought. But really, all we ever had to do was shrug it off. But at this point, we've got a lot of fear and resistance built up. So what we're gonna do is sit down like you're about to meditate, take the time, maybe 20, 30 minutes, or even an hour. Any time would work for this, but you just sit down, no distractions, and think the thought. Put the thought into your mind and sit with it. Whatever emotional reaction you have at that moment is completely fine. But what we're doing here is we're training the mind to respond differently to these emotions. We're training the mind to realize, you know, I sat with this thought and I'm alive. The brain relies heavily on survival mechanisms. It's built to keep you alive. And the fact that we keep responding to this thought with fear tells our mind, oh, so this thought is dangerous. Well, what happens with danger? We gotta keep it in the front of our vision so that we don't die. Because, you know, if I look away for a second and there's like a woolly mammoth charging at my ancestors, then my ancestors are gonna have to look at it, right? So the same thing really carries on to us. It causes a lot of stress, I have to admit, but there are ways to work around it. This exercise is called bringing it into the light. And what you do is you just sit there and it's like you're shining a metaphorical flashlight on this thought. You just sit here and think, okay, I am whatever you fear, whether it be sexuality, 
violence, you sit there with the thought. You can even have thoughts about not loving your partner enough. And a lot of people are scared because they think, oh, I don't love him or her enough, so I must be faulty within this relationship. It's simply not true. Everybody has doubts about their own identity. The problem is we get identified with those doubts. So what we wanna do here is reduce that meaning. And sitting with these uncomfortable feelings is what is gonna allow us to take that meaning off. As I mentioned before, trying to force the thought to go away is only gonna make it stronger. Because if you force it to go away, it's gonna sit in your subconscious. What your subconscious is gonna do is say, okay, so I can't deal with this danger consciously, so I'm gonna find every little piece of evidence in my life to support that fear. It's gonna make you see whatever the most fearful thing in your reality is. And that's really not what we want. We want to stay calm. We want to bring that arousal from this anxiety down. And that's what bringing into the light does. No matter how uncomfortable it seems at first, stick with it guys and if you start having thoughts that say this isn't gonna work this is baloney what is this guy talking about that's how you know that it's working self-doubt creeping in that's the ego and your old patterns trying to keep you at that high level of stress we get used to that high level of stress and it gets us quote unquote high but that's not what we want we want to live a stable life and this meditative exercise of just sitting with the thought Feeling that uncomfortable feeling really set me free. And that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. Now, you might be living in your day to day and these thoughts might come unexpectedly. Like you might see something on TV or see something on the street that brings you back to that same place of fear. And when that happens, invite those thoughts into your mind. A lot of people teach, ignore it, ignore the problem and it's gonna go away. That's only gonna make it worse. So what we do here is when you find yourself getting triggered, say, you know what, I'm not afraid of those thoughts. Those thoughts don't really matter. So you know what, bring it on. Those thoughts don't really matter. I'm completely okay with letting them sit in my mind. And that is what's gonna set you free. Whatever you feel afraid of, kind of visualize it and add like a humorous element to it. Imagine yourself doing whatever you fear, but make it so funny that you don't take it so seriously anymore. This is something that I'm really passionate about because I struggled with this for a long time. And finding this exercise has really, really helped me. I almost feel like when I have those thoughts, I'm like, okay, it's just a thought now. I don't really have any emotional reaction anymore. Where before I was riding the cycle of high highs, which were, I'm not gonna have the thoughts ever again. I'm so great, I'm so stable. And then those low lows where it was like, what am I gonna do? Now we're gonna achieve peace. Thank you all for watching this video. I sincerely hope that you learned something from this and that you took value. It can definitely be hard sometimes, but we are all going to make it. We will all make it through to a brighter tomorrow. Thank you guys so much.